Welcome back to Inside Bristol, and it's just an honor to have Terry Napier here with Thank us you. today. Thank you for joining us on the show. And he's going to tell us a little bit about the tree project that's going on. Where do we start with that? Those beautiful trees. <laughs> we love them. Well, we start with we love those trees, but it, it was time for those for something different to happen. So uh, we're, we're not anti-tree. We just thought it was time to do something different. They've actually become unsafe. So step one was to remove the trees. We're about 50%. If you drive down State Street, you're going to see about a four-foot stump. And so step two, which hopefully will start in the next few days, uh, we will come in with our sewer vac truck and we will actually with water and vacuum and clean all the dirt because these trees are planted in a pipe. The roots have come out the top of the pipe and the bottom, but there's all kinds of utilities that run in there so we can't just dig them out. So we'll come in with the back truck and we'll vacuum all the dirt out from around and then we'll take saws and cut the roots and hopefully just pull the tree right out. So there's still a big, you know, big, big piece of work to be done, but we want to be careful. We don't want to disrupt the utilities downtown. We don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, that's our big thing is we're trying to be as good to our businesses as possible and as, as few disruptions. Uh, we couldn't bring the back truck out the last week because it has a water tank and it would have froze. Right. So we had to leave it inside. So we just, rather than starting immediately behind, we've just focused on cutting the trees down. That's great. And so, uh, what's next once once you've once we've removed mm -hmm. the existing stump and pipe, uh, we'll put a new three foot diameter pipe in the ground, and we've we've already uh, made the dirt or got the dirt. We'll fill those with dirt, and then we have a contractor that we've purchased the trees from, and part of the contract is they plant them. So we'll put the pipe in the ground, get the dirt in, get everything the brick back in where it looks pretty, and then they will come and plant the trees. And how long will this take? Well, we will be finished before the spring race. <laughs> oh, well, so soon. <laughs> that just feels like it's around the corner. It, it is, but we really want to get the trees in the ground as quickly as possible because mm -hmm. we're, we're coming into that, that prime time to plant. So downtown is not really a healthy environment for trees anyway. I mean, we're putting them in a pipe. You know, they get all the salt and debris off the mm -hmm. sidewalks in the street. So it's not a perfect environment anyway. So any, any head start we can give them, any, any little extra luck, uh, it'll go a long way. You know, we brought in the University of Tennessee. Uh, we, we brought in, it's actually a student-driven project. And they studied the downtown. And they actually took, went as far as looking at the architecture of the building and, and put back a tree that complements that. You know, one of the big things if you go downtown right now is you can see the buildings. We have beautiful buildings. We, we have beautiful trees, but they covered our beautiful buildings, and a lot of money's been spent on you know fixing up those facades. So I think we're going to have a perfect blend now. We're going to have beautiful trees that complement the beautiful buildings, and that's our goal. So you'll see a variety, but that variety will also provide a variety of color throughout the year. Uh, and then, of course, the, the bonus of that is if you have an invasive insect or a disease, you don't lose every tree downtown. Mm -hmm. You would only lose that that one that one type of tree. So there's a lot of benefits to doing different types. Well, this is exciting, and thank you so much for coming on and sharing sharing with us. I know now everybody knows what's going on with our downtown, and so we feel like we're in the know. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, Terry. Stay with us. We'll be right back in just a moment.